that looks that looks awesome right there oh, that's little charlie's worm jig head on a doa green and silver flake paddle tail fish on on the lure there we go using my little bass rod today you guys decided to come out here and do strict artificials first bite of the morning it's a beautiful chilly morning down here in south florida 45 degree temperatures got the sun coming up in the background i do not know what i have yet i still haven't seen any color it's a jack i mean for this little rod everything's gonna be nice but it's not really like huge but still a good fish got him right in the corner of the mouth and like i said earlier oh dude don't fucking start bleeding <laughs> guys this is the prime time in the morning i'm hoping that the bite turns on again little paddle tail on the jig head is a clutch way to catch fish inshore so definitely check them out might be a little dual purpose video might do a little do a little salt water right now and if you know it's not too hot maybe head in do a little fresh water right i have no idea what i got doesn't seem very big it's probably a jack i don't know it's not sh let's see maybe a snapper what is it ah oh, it's a jack again dude another jack on the, on the oh he spit it out right there at the rocks you either pop it like this, let it drop, reel it in a little bit, pop it a couple times, let it drop, reel in the slack, pop it a couple times, let it drop, or you could work it like a jerk bait. Try to vary it just to see fish on. on. No, it's another jack, dude. Another jack. Slaying the jacks, bro. Damn, he's, he really hit it. And he's actually nice and chilly. There we go. See that, guys? Jig head, paddle tail. Oh, fish on. Fish on. My toe is falling down. <laughs> Nothing but jacks today. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll take it. They're fun to fight. Yeah. Just not to eat. They love these little paddle tails, man. They crush them. Want to catch his bigger brother though just to show you guys real quick what we are using out here now this is a charlie's worms saltwater jigs it's one eighth of an ounce in a chartreuse yellow color and then these are the doa cows they're like little jerk bait grubs they work really good they're kind of like a paddle tail design they're really small they're about a two and a half inch presentation and these uh inshore saltwater fish really like them so definitely something you should uh check out if you want to catch some inshore fish on artificials a few snook and popping the shrimp on their head, seeing hopefully they eat. <laughs> yeah, I just have to do a quick fishing inspection on you guys. Sure. So you guys have your fit, or before I go any further, do you have any weapons on you guys? I have a knife right here. Okay, as long as you just don't go. Digital. I got my uh, pliers. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No guns in the bag. No, no. no guns. Right. Actually, I, was like, I got a question about that. Totally off topic. Are we allowed to have one out here? Because I heard something about when you go in the outdoors, you're allowed to, to carry carry one with you. Without a concealed weapon permit? No, you still need a concealed weapon. So, well, in the state of Florida, if you're engaged in hunting, fishing, or camping, you're allowed to open carry. But you have to be engaged in that action. So yeah, like if, if we're out here. If you're standing here with a fishing rod in your hand, you can open carry. That's what we okay. were talking about the other day. Because okay. I know it can get a little park, sketchy out here sometimes. It, it, we mirror the state law. So it goes back to you're concealed. If you have a concealed, if you're not engaged in hunting, fishing, or yeah. camping, if you are, open carry is fine. All open right. carry is fine. Cool. Okay. Yeah, because we heard that I have some buddies that have been fishing out here all their lives, and they say like when it gets darker over here, it gets a little, get sketchy. A little sketchy. Yeah, Yeah. there's a lot of yeah. interesting people back here. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. why it's cool to see you guys out here, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> You guys want to check out the fishing licenses and yeah, all that? Yeah, fishing license real quick. I got it on my phone, man. You guys got a lot of people poaching the snook and stuff out here? Salt water. That's why we try to throw presents out yeah, here. I can imagine, man. Renew by, okay, yeah. So that's the new one right there. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. Have a good one. Have a good one, guys. There we go. Seems like a better fish. Coming up too. I don't know. Is it? First trout. Yeah, it is a trout. Little guy. Get him, bro. I can't. That does seem like a better fish. 
in the light rod too, man. Watch it be a black drum. Oh, it's probably a snapper though. Oh no! Nice mangrove. Man. Oh, that's the that's a good one. Yeah, he's gonna go back in and get bigger, right? Unless you want. Got one, dude. No, I don't have a cooler, bro. Oh my god, dude, that's a freaking <laughs> 15, 16 incher. Yeah, right. yeah, bro. Not, bad, dude. Not a bad fish. fish. Yeah, <laughs> that is awesome. Hey, man. Dude, that was cool. I wasn't expecting a snapper that big. I'm getting bit right now. It's probably a trout right there swimming with it. Ooh. Going up. I think he was going up to the surface for a second, but then he. Where is he? Oh, a little mangrove snapper all the way out there. Dude, they're thick, bro. Dude, and they're choking it, bro. Yeah, so everybody's been asking for it. So I decided today, even though it's freezing cold, and I know it's gonna probably be a little bit tough to get these fish to bite on artificials, I am out with pure artificials, and we're gonna try to catch some peacock and largemouth bass. That is the targeted species, but anything else in between will be well accepted because at the end of the day, we just want to bend the rod and hear some drag scream in action. We can get something to bite the bait. Oh shit, snake! <laughs> oh, I hate snakes. Fish on. Good largemouth bass. Good largemouth bass, you guys. Oh, he spit the hook. Spit the hook, man. Good bass. Oh my god. Using a tool. -oh. A little small. And I guess he just spit the hook when he went up. I kept playing with him, wanting to see him jump out of the water. After the third jump, completely spit it. I'm at a really high point here on the bank. Kind of got to horse them out if I get bit. No more playing around. If I get another bite, I'm going to jack them up. I'm not even going to wait. I switched it up now to a June bug color. Trick worm. And we're going to see if these guys are really hungry or not. But I knew they were here, man. Got hit those two times. Lost a couple big fish. That's how it is sometimes. You win some, you lose some. I'm gonna keep fishing the whole way back to the car and maybe salvage this video. Fish on, fish on. Oh, fish off, man. I keep losing these bass, dude. I think it's these hooks, man. I don't know what's going on, but these hooks aren't really, aren't really sticking. That's the third decent largemouth bass that I lose. I'm gonna let it eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Come on, come on. That's a decent one. He's going up. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Stay down, stay down, stay down. That's a decent, that's a little bit better. But not as good as the other three that I lost, but still. Gonna flip him up the bank. Finally, a decent bass, man. Oh my God, I've been trying to get this guy to bite now. For about four hours. He destroyed the zoom trick worm. Bam, gobbled it up. That's a decent large. You're going to get him unhooked and send them back in. He's bleeding pretty bad. So let's go ahead and get that hook out of him. See the hook? It's pretty much completely sticking out. So he should be all right. Hook out. I'm going to send him back in. Hopefully he'll be all right. Looks like he swam away. Sweet deal. Damn, I was going to get a picture with him, but I wanted to really save him. He got gut hooked. Got the hook out just in time. Don't see him. I saw him swim off at first. Looking down, he is gone. That's a good sign. Man. All right, well, now we got, we're getting some bites now, so that's pretty exciting. Going to keep fishing this whole entire stretch until we get back to the car and maybe salvage the day. Now, that was on the, on the trick worm. Pretty pumped about that. I'm going to show you a, a fresh trick worm so you guys could see which trick worm exactly it is that I'm getting them to bite on. Fishing with these right here. It's the, the Zoom, Zoom Bait Company, the original trick worm candy bug. It's kind of like a June bug, a little bit different. It's a little bit more purple, but I've had really good luck at the lakes by my house. And well, since I switched over to this color, now I've been getting some bites. So that's pretty exciting. And I just set it up weedless. And then the hook, the weight is just loose like this. Boom. Wheelless setup. Probably a little bit better with a bigger hook, but that'll do for now. I mean, that's all we got. So we just got to make it happen. Now, pretty much like I've talked about in the past. In the past, we've talked about little tips and techniques. Now, when I'm fishing these canals, especially if I'm not in a boat and I only can walk the bank, most of these fish, largemouth, peacock bass, cichlids, all the fish that you're going to target with artificial lures, they're going to be chilling on the bank. 
so if you can get a parallel cast to it you know and depending on what your lure is work it properly to that you're going to maximize your your chances of catching a fish so you see i casted it out there about five feet off the bank and then since i'm fishing a worm trick worm we're going to go ahead and let it sink down to the bottom and then we're going to work it real slow sometimes if you have polarized and you see your bait fall a lot of times you'll see the fish shoot out to get it and then in that case you really want to be actively checking your line to see what's going on because you might have a fish on immediately so those are just a couple those are just a little bit of <clears throat> that's just a tip right there what a tough day of fishing real tough man started off salt water then we're out here doing fresh water i mean geez oh what is that is that a grass carp yep grass carp <laughs> those grass carp when when you see them at a distance they look like massive largemouth bass if only right if only largemouth bass got that big there we go finally got him stay down 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 oh we got a good largemouth bass you guys we got a good largemouth bass gonna flip him up yes yes finally finally we got a decent one actually oh man that guy destroyed that bait. Oh, yeah. Take a look at that, you guys. Juicy, juicy largemouth bass here. Caught him on that really juicy worm right there. Oh, yeah. Take a look at that. Sweet catch. That's a pretty nice one. Got him right in the side of the mouth. That is a beautiful fish. He almost ran off with the bait again. That's probably the one that ripped us off the last time. Super abrasive mouth. Look at that. Man, that's a good fish. Whoa! <laughs> fish. Fish on, guys. Oh, on the worm. Bring him up, bring him up, bring him up. Yes! So we just got... Got finished saltwater fishing earlier today. And uh, we've come back out here to try to wrap up our day by doing some freshwater fishing. Oh man, this guy snapped my trip worm in half, dude. He was hungry. It's actually not a bad largemouth. He's not he's not super big, but he is not small by any means. He hammered that. Bam. Really nice fish. Future, future lunker. I'm gonna go ahead and send him back in. See if we can get it on another one. Not a bad bite. It's looking like a fishy day today, at least on the freshwater side. I've seen some movement in the waters and I'm sticking to pure artificials by request and I've had some comments people asking oh why haven't you been using lures lately so I decided today would be a strict lure fishing day for both saltwater and freshwater but that is a very good way to target largemouth on a canal or even on a lake right now we're fishing during a cold front here in South Florida and I love it when the cold fronts come through because it seems to just get everything fired up, both freshwater and on the salt water. So let's keep at it. Let's see if we can catch another one. Fish on. Got another bass. Got another large mouth. Oh, decent one too. Oh, stay down, stay down, stay down. Another largey and off the other point right there. We are skiing him in. It's a decent fish. Bam, on the Buddha bait, man. They can't resist that garlic scent. Woof. That is another good bite. He choked. Choked that bait, man. Hell yeah. Things are starting to get a little fired up, people. I'm gonna do some damage here if this keeps up. One-eyed largemouth bass, you guys. I just noticed that right now as I was going to get him a release. Trying to get him revived. And he's gone. All right, a bad way to finish off the day here. What could be inside this box? All right, sweet. It is another tackle box from Groove Fishing. Pretty sweet, this is the big jig box. Now this was actually supposed to come in our previous little care package they, they sent in, but they actually sent me two of the hard bait box, which is super cool. Anyways, I got to put my saltwater lures in one of those boxes. 
but this one basically holds all your big jigs, uh, bass jigs, saltwater jigs, chatter baits, anything with a bigger hook presentation, you could actually fit it inside and place it inside the silicone notches. It keeps it nice and firm. You can put your hooks in there. Uh, pretty much, yeah, everything jigs. We'll probably do a video one day when I'm fishing that I got it all set up kind of to go over the product itself. And uh, we'll put a link in the description to the original unboxing so you guys could check out all the other products that are available at groovefishing.com. But big thank you to them for sending this out to me. I'm gonna definitely use it, probably put it in some other videos. You guys will see it in the near future. But that is gonna pretty much do it for us here today. It was an amazing day out on the water. Started off really early. It was around 45 degrees when I met up with my friends. We went out saltwater fishing. It was a little bit tough. Uh, only fishing with artificials. I was throwing those bucktail jigs um, and then I was also throwing some jig heads with paddle tails on them. And it was a little tough, but we did catch a couple fish there. And then it really did turn on at midday when we went freshwater fishing while well, I went by myself. And uh, we were throwing those trick worms, speed worms, and different kind of worms that I had available in my tackle bag and we caught some good bass we actually caught a couple decent ones lost a couple but that happens you know made a couple mistakes but at least uh, it was a pretty redeeming afternoon hope you guys all enjoyed the video if you're new to bite the bait fishing go ahead and subscribe and go ahead and leave a like leave a comment anything else what's up what's up last we're, Jedi we're off to see the last Jedi super pumped got our Star Wars shirts Darth Vader shirt over there yeah 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 May the force be with you guys, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Peace.